Hey guys, this is Brandon with USF1. Today we're going to talk about Sauber. Yep guys, today we're talking about Sauber and their two drivers, Pascal Verlein and Marcus Ericsson. A um, little bit about Pascal Verlein, took an, uh, he took an unusual route to Formula 1, spending three seasons in DTM and winning the title in 2015, earning before earning his Grand Prix debut with Manor the following year. After a five-year stint in karts, Verlein made a successful transition to single-seaters. He clinched Germany's Formula Masters title at his second attempt in 2011 with seven wins despite being disqualified on no fewer than three occasions. That prompted him to move up to the Formula 3 Euro Series with the same MOOC team. Verlein impressed with his consistency, taking a strong second in the championship behind the more experienced Jan Daniel Juna Kella. Uh, he beat the likes of Rafael Marcelo and Felix Rosenqvist, despite only winning one of the 24 races. This was at the Nurbo ring where Wehrlein hit the front after several cars collided on the first lap, among them Juna Kella, who earned a penalty. Wehrlein also placed fourth in the FIA's Euro Formula 3 standings and scored top five finishes in the prestigious Macau and Masters events. A return to the expanded European Formula 3 series was planned for 2012, and Wehrlein was on the grid for the season opening triple header at Monza. Taking a win in worsening wet conditions, However, by then it was already known he would not be seeing the season out. Ralph Schumacher's abrupt departure from Mook's DTM squad left them with a seat to fill, and the 18-year-old was duly called up. Railline qualified a, a credible 8th on his debut, 4th of the 6 Mercedes drivers, and led early in the race after running a long opening stint on the soft tires. He dropped back to 11th at the flag. But it wasn't until the following season that he began to show signs and promise. He took fourth on the grid at the nose ring, Nas ring, his best up until that point, though he fell to fifth at the flag after being spun around by Adrian Downby. Tombe. His breakthrough came at the last ring where pre-race preparations were densed, condensed to just 15 minutes of practice as the medical hel helicopter was unable to take off due to the low cloud. In damp conditions, Rareline snapped, snatched pole position and dominated the race. Uh, three days earlier, Rareline had his first experience in an F1 car at the Algrove Circuit in Portugal, driving Mercedes 2012 F1 W03. He, uh, he had already played a substantial role in the development of the team's championship winning W05 in the simulator, logging over 12,000 kilometers in 30 days of running. Mercedes appointed Rareline as the team's official reserve driver and began joining the team at Formula One race weekends. In the meantime, he returned for a third crack at the DTM. Performance balance shape, ballast shaped the 2015 DTM season. A, te a team success from race to race was strongly affected by how much weight they had to carry, but an improved Mercedes C, C class and Wehrlein's remarkable consistency turned him from a one-time winner into a This came despite a major controversy at the Red Bull ring where Wehrlein was pushed into a gravel trap by the teammate of, of t title rival Marcus Ekstrom. That temporarily cost Ekstrom his lead in the championship. Though he, though he regained it with a victory at the next round in Moscow, it was his second and final of the year. But his consistently told over the season, he clinched the title at Hockenheim with the race to spare. Berline had begun 2015 with testing duties for Mercedes, standing in for an unwell Lewis Hamilton at one point and forced India. At the end of the year, he tested for Prema's new GP2 team as a return to a single-seater racing appeared to be on the cards. That proved to be the case, but not in GP2. With Mercedes extending their engine supply to Manor for 2016, Wehrlein was confirmed as the team's drivers the following year. Uh, he actually got Manor's first ever points for, for them last year. He got one point, he came in 10th place. Um, that's way higher than Manor's expectations. Now Manor isn't going to be fielding a team for next year, so it's going to be Pascal Verlein is going to be driving with Sauber as I previously mentioned, as this is the Sauber driver's driver profile. <laughs> yeah guys, that is Pascal Verlein. As you can tell, he has a lot of experience driving 
any every other car besides a Formula One car. He only has one season under his belt. But he also did a lot of testing for his parent teams. If they had a higher higher uh, team, he would actually do their testing for him. Um, I can tell he's quite experienced for a young kid. Uh, he's German. If I didn't mention that, I think he's only 20. 20. I'll leave. I'll leave that in the description below because uh, I don't know that for sure, but I'll find that out while I'm editing. But yeah, guys, that's that. I'm going to be talking about Marcus Erickson shortly, but uh, I'm Brandon with USF1. Take care.